That's where we ended the first lesson. We're going to finish it off here. <clears throat> Give you these tunings again. First strings of B flat. Middle strings F. Top string is F and it's an octave apart. Octave higher. So the third line is the same thing as the first line, okay? So if you can play the first line, you've already got the third line. And the fourth line is just a modification of the second half of the first line. You're going to start out with your same measure here, and you can look at it, and instead of doing all this, you're just going to do your pull-off, hit the first fret, second string, and throw them all open. Okay? So I'll play that line. So... part of that line, the new part, is you're strumming the, um, you're strumming them all, you got your first fret, first string depressed, you're going to pull off, and you come over, hit the first fret, second string, and then strum them all open. Sounds like a good exercise, right? You can just take that little measure and work on that. through so you can hear what it sounds like again. Okay, that takes us up to this part right here where there's a repeat sign. So what you'll do is you go back up to the top and you'll play through it all again. <clears throat> then we're going to move on to the second half and I'll play that so you can see how it sounds. This part should be relatively easy because you've been working on the frail that right that I took right out of this part, which is that hammer on. Okay, so let's go over it. So now we're here, <clears throat> the third line from the bottom. Just a simple run on the second string. It's going to be third fret, second fret, first fret. And these little notes just denote that it's like a quarter note, so it's a whole note. It's three, two, one. All right. So three, two. Then we're going to do the hammer on on the second fret or second string, first fret. And then the little strum thumb. Come back and hit that first fret, second string again, and the strum thumb. Basically going to do that twice, all right? So you do your run, and you do the little strum thumb. You'll do that again here, and then there's just a little bit different figure. <clears throat> again, a subtle change uh, on the end of that, okay? So it's... Um, so you do your hammer on and your strum thumb. And then from there, the last part of this line, you do the first string open, first fret, second string, and second string open. So it's just a little run. So instead of playing the second half of that exercise, that strum thumb that we were doing, you're going to play this right here. First string open, second string, first fret, second string open. Okay. So the first repeat sign right here goes back to the beginning. The second repeat sign goes back right here. So you'll do these these two lines twice. All right. Now, 
on the second time through, you're going to cut it off, and you're going to come down here and play this last line. All right, and I'll run over that and show you what that is. So you're going to start at the first fret, first string, slide to the second, and strumming them all. All right. Then we're going to strum, keeping our uh, second fret, first string depressed. We're going to strum them all, come off with our thumb, come back up to the first fret, first string, strum them all, pull off. Then we're going to hit our first fret, second string, and then strum them all. And where did we do that little riff? This, this last part of this um, measure here. It's right up here. We already played it at the end of the first verse, right? So the very end is... So you might want to turn that into a little exercise. Like I said, you'll first fret, uh, first string, strum wall pull off, first fret, second string, and then strum wall. play through the second part slowly repeat Okay, I think that does it. Again, you can look at the tab, review the video, break it down measure by measure, put it all together. Okay? Happy playing.